What do we refer to when we think or say I? This is not an, an invitation to think about what you are. It's an invitation to go to whatever it is in yourself that is referred to by the word I. Everybody's primary experience, I am. Before we can know anything else, we must first be, be present. The founding belief of our world culture is the idea that I was born, evolve, and will die. Every other belief we have in our culture is dependent upon that single belief. And yet nobody, nobody has ever experienced the disappearance of themselves. The knowledge I am is the first step out of eternity into time when the separate self is developing, but it is the last step the separate self takes on its way back home. A body-mind is not aware. It's awareness alone that is aware. All experience takes place in yourself. All you know is experience. And all experience takes place in you. And not just takes place in you, but is made out of you. The moment we forget or overlook awareness, then the mind, the body and the world acquire their own independent existence. The feeling is the deeper root of the separate self. And the se it's, a, it's as if the separate self which is created by the I thought then grows roots in the body. That's where it's really anchored, the, the me feeling. So totally allow the anxiety, just like you allow the sounds and the sound. Totally allow it, but don't touch it. Don't do anything to it. Don't either try to don't try to repress it, don't try to express it, don't try to get rid of it, don't try to change it, don't do anything to it. And the test of that is you say to yourself, can I live with this feeling forever? You have to be able to answer yes to that question. Meditation here is it, it's, it's what we are. Meditation is just to be knowingly the presence of awareness. In other words, just to be. That is the highest meditation, just to be as you are. Accepting is its nature. It's what it is, not what it does. That's the important thing, to see that, that what we essentially are is already inherently and perfectly without resistance. Do you have an experience that now is moving along a line of time? And, and if so, I mean, how fast is the now moving? If you were to do a survey now of all seven billion apparently separate selves and ask them, what do they want? They would all say love, peace, happiness, or beauty. By happiness, I don't mean a, a gleeful, uh, you don't have to be laughing. I just mean uh, peace, fulfillment. That is the simple knowing of our own being. Our friendships really blossom as a result of this understanding because they are no longer a kind of battleground between two egos trying to derive their sense of love and happiness from the other. They are a true celebration of our shared identity. What is the experience that we call beauty and love? It is the collapse of the feeling of being an inside self that knows an outside object or other. When these two, the subject and the object, collapse, we call that experience love or beauty. The purpose of art is to take the senses on a journey back to the source of perception, which is pure awareness. Simply be knowingly this objectless, colorless, directionless, placeless, empty, transparent, 
awareness. I say be knowingly, because we have never, for a moment, ever been anything other than this dimensionless, objectless presence.